Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to Accounting 1101. I'm Professor Martin coming to you from the headquarters in Wilmington, Ohio. In our video today, we're going to be answering the old question, who needs accounting? Why are we here? Why are we being forced to take an accounting class as part of our degree, whether you are a BADM or an accounting major? What in the world are we doing? Well, let's take a step back and imagine a world with no accounting. And for those of you that are being forced into the class as part of a BADM requirement, you have no interest in being an accountant, a world without accounting probably looks a little bit like what you're looking at right there, utopia, where the sun is always shining, it's always 80 degrees, and you're sitting on a uh, beach and you're drinking a drink and living your best life in a world with no accounting. But that world wouldn't be so great. For some people, let me give you an example. In the news, we had GameStop. Again, the meme stock. GameStop was in the news over the week. Uh, their stock popped. It went up like 50% in a day or two. And then went right back down after the company issued a profit warning. And so let's read on. You can see here, we uh, got the stock ticker. It was down 26% on this particular day. So what happened? We read in MarketWatch. GameStop said it expects something, I don't know, to range from something to something narrower than the blank posted in the year earlier quarter. Well, why is all that redacted? Because remember, we live in a world with no accounting. Sales are expected to range from who knows to some number of millions down from some number of billions one year ago. Consensus is for a loss of blank million in sales of who knows billions. Separately, the company filed a registration to offer up to 1 billion new something and 5 million something. It also said it has entered an open market sales agreement to sell up to 45 million who knows what. So in a world without accounting, it's very hard to make sense of what's going on at GameStop. Why did the stock go down 25%? Without accounting, we don't know. So accounting, even though you may not like it and you may like to live in a world with no accounting, is very important to people outside of the company. People who are going to invest in the company. Analysts who are going to follow that company and tell people what to invest in. External parties like that. Accounting is very important. If you're a lender or a creditor thinking about loaning GameStop money, that accounting information is going to be very important to you, isn't it? And even if you're Uncle Sam, if you're the government, SEC, uh, you want to know the accounting so you can make sure that they're following the rules. The IRS need to know the accounting, need to know the numbers so you can make sure they're paying their taxes. So external parties, accounting information is very important to people outside the company. They need accounting. They need that information. In fact, the entire goal of accounting. Our number one goal in accounting is to provide useful information for decision making. That's it. That's what we're in business to do. That's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to provide people with useful information so they can make a decision, an informed decision. Fill in the blanks on GameStop. You can see it starts to make a lot more sense. You can see they had a net loss ranging from 27 to 37 as the expectation, which was narrower than the loss of 50 million posted a year ago. Sales are expected to range between 872 to 892 million, which is down from 1.23 billion. So we plug in the numbers and we uncover the redacted stuff. It makes a lot more sense when we have accounting in the picture. But it's not just external parties that need accounting information. Now, I'll tell you a little story about a company called Red Lobster. They made a splash recently. Did Red Lobster. Someone in the marketing department came up with an idea. Hey, what if, hear me out here, what if we did unlimited shrimp? Morgan, you genius. Let's do it. So they did. Unlimited, endless shrimp. Shrimp, bottomless, all you can eat, 20 bucks. You can plop down your 20 on the table at Red Lobster. 
And they'll lead you in and feed you all the shrimp you can eat. Now, if you're a fan of The Simpsons, you know The Simpsons have predicted a lot of things that were going to happen later on. And this is no different. Homer already shows you how this promotion is going to end. Let's take a look. And for the gentleman. All you can eat. All you can eat. All right. When you're ready, take this plate over. Please, don't take the steam tray, sir. That man ate all our shrimp and two plastic lobsters. Tis no man. Tis a remorseless eating machine. Can't. And so you can't do that. You can't just give away bottomless, all-you-can-eat shrimp, especially for 20 bucks. It was a terrible idea. So where did it lead? Red Lobster's deal surpassed expectations. From a marketing standpoint, it worked great. But it cost the company millions, a key factor in an $11 million quarterly loss. From an accounting standpoint, not so much. In fact, they ended up closing dozens of locations across the country after the debacle. And so maybe if we had some accounting people step in the marketing department and say, wait a second, you know, it's going to cost us 30 bucks on average to provide that $20 meal. It could have stopped the whole debacle, right? So internal parties also need accounting information, managers, employees, they need accounting information to help them make a good decision on what the business should be doing, right? Red Lobster found out the hard way. What happens when you make a bad decision and you ignore the accounting part? And uh, I'm going to just warn you, B-Dubs is heading down the exact same path. They didn't learn the lesson. I'm not a seafood guy, but I can tell you that you will probably find me at the Wilmington B-Dubs at some point on a Monday or a Wednesday, eating all I can eat boneless wings and fries. I'm thinking I could probably put down 20 in one sitting if you gave me a couple hours. Maybe there's your edge game on. I could sit down and eat 20 wings. Wash it down with a legend Mountain Dew. And this is basically going to be what they're going to have to do after I'm done. They're going to have to wheel me out of B-dubs. I am on a mission to put B-dubs out of business with the all-you-can-eat boneless wings. So, in summary... We've got external parties that need accounting information. We have internal parties that need accounting information. Who needs accounting? A lot of people. So strap in. We've got a, an entire semester worth of accounting information to throw your way. And hopefully by the time we're done, you will be in a good position to understand and maybe even create accounting information. If you have any questions about what you're reading or on the homework, Feel free to look me up. You can email me. You can send me a message on Canvas, however you want to do it. I'd be happy to help. Until next time, take care, everybody.